Right, there's been a couple of people asking about what I've done to increase the uh, rigidity of the cross slide on my Denford Orac. And I thought I'd do a little short video showing exactly the modifications. I haven't done any drawings of this, I've done it on the hoof, so to speak. The original cross slide on the Orac has very shallow dovetails with not much strength at the root. You can see the increased thickness of the ones I've made by here when my finger's pointing. They're only about two mil wide at the root on an Orac. And under a heavy cut, uh, I broke mine and the whole cross slide came off. It also has something like a, I don't know, perhaps a 10 mil ball screw on the x-axis, which isn't very strong. So anyhow, rather than scrap the lathe off or buy a new cross slide, I decided to make one out of a lump of grey cast iron and a new top slide, specifically to incorporate the modified Orac turret I've put on this machine. Um, one feature about this is that the cross slide is now fully supported at its end of travel, as you can see by here. It's fully out on the x-axis, just about to hit the override button. There it is, it's hit it. Go to over travel release, reset, and feed her back forwards. Mm -hmm. Reset the reset. As you can see, I've also put an outrigger bearing on a bracket for the x-axis lead screw. See the machine in fed forward on the MPGs. And in there you can see the much thicker 16mm diameter ball screw and the much much thicker fees with the adjustable gib on the non-thrust side. I've also added external lubrication um, using off this little hand pump I secured from eBay. Just pumps a bit of oil into the cross slide. And the new cross slide, you see I've relieved it at the front. I've widened it, it's much wider than the standard ORAC as well spread the load. It does take a bit of uh, travel up or restricts a bit of uh, movement but it's far far stronger than it ever was. The only thing limiting this machine now is possibly the spindle bearings and I might just try and put a stronger or higher quality set of bearings in that. But the machine's been great. I've done a lot of work on it. Um, the tool turret's great now, we put a stepper on it. He said the god awful DC motor with the reduction gear and which dies. It's a direct drive onto the worm inside the turret. And I've constructed the stainless steel slides to cover the front and the rear of the X -ax axis slideways. I've also fitted uh, the travel limiting switch in a different position rather than the rod that's used and it's just struck by two dome headed um, cap heads and that's about it really. Uh, I hope this helps. Um, anybody thinking of doing something like this to an ORAC? It really does make the machine a lot stronger. Okay, take care. Bye.